out since I have this truck out and running. So we'll give her a quick bath out here and see how she does and get her blood pumping again. Uh, I did some maintenance on this truck a couple days ago and I added a couple of upgrades on it. So uh, let me give you guys a quick rundown of my setup here before, before we get started. See, I upgraded my system. I have been running the BLX 185 system on here since day one. And this is my first upgrade system I have on this truck since then. I'm not running a Hexfly 160 amp ESC. This is actually an 8S rated ESC. I'm also trying out this 4082 1720 kV rocket motor. They are pretty similar to the Habistar motor that I have tried on several of my trucks. Um, I apologize for the wind, guys. It's a little bit strong out here. As you can see, I've also upgraded my servo here. I'm now running a Savix uh, SW 1210 servo. Um, we'll give that a try. As you can see, I'm still rocking this LP battery tires on here. Um, I have been running these tires on this side for quite some, quite some time now. Big shout out to um, Ovonic Batteries for sending this 5000 milliamp 50C batteries uh, for me to try out today. Um, really appreciate and that. Lastly, I just want to point out that I'm trying out this Radio Link RC6GS uh, radio. I've actually had this radio for quite some time and uh, they actually sent me the version 2 of this so keep on the lookout for a comparison video between this uh, version 1 and version 2 of this video pretty soon so all right let's give this a quick run out here and uh, let's have some fun out here Oh, there goes the body, or the body mounts.
mais. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me out here today. Whew, I think I put the stallion to enough abuse already. Uh, she sounded a little bit rough here and there, so she's probably have um, some diff issues or some bearing issues. So, so I'm gonna take a look at that once I clean this up when I get home. But she healed up pretty good, man. Uh, she's pretty dirty, as you can see. And um, we'll give her a good clean when we get home. And uh, I don't see any, um, I don't see any any breakages as far as I can tell. Let um, me pop the hood here. Uh, well, she looks pretty dirty. It, look, it looks like my fan is cutting in and out too. There's probably a blade so is broken. So again, I want to give a big shout out to um, Ovonic Battery for sending this uh, 5,000 milliamp battery for me to try out today. Really appreciate that. Um, there you have it, guys. That's gonna do it for me out here today. I think I put this stallion to enough abuse out here already. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe if you haven't. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. That was one hell of a fun. Damn. Ah, oh, man, that was fun. Alright all right, guys, back in my RC station here in my garage. I got the Talion all cleaned up. I went through the whole truck and inspected it to make, just to make sure if there's anything broken or stripped. I did find out that my front diff here was stripped really, really bad. Uh, that explains that crunchy rough sounding during my bash and here is the uh, the front differential that I just pulled out um, I don't know if the um, I don't know if the camera can actually see this properly or, or can focus on this and that is one strip crown gear right there as you can see uh, the inside seems to be pretty smooth still so I will get this cleaned up and change that crown gear right there it seems to be the only part that's broken and stripped badly and while I was at it I went ahead and uh, threw a couple of upgrades in the front end here um, I don't know if you can see this, but I added the, um, I went ahead and put a hot racing diff case housing right there um, As well as a top plate And I, know, I don't know if you can see this, it's a little hard to see But I also have a M2C steering plate right there, I don't know if you can see it properly But I don't know if you can see it properly, but it's right there I uh, went ahead and also upgraded my um, upper suspension block right there and I also went ahead and uh, upgraded my suspension blocks right there. That's an M2C locking suspension blocks right there. Shout out to Mitch Looper, which is an awesome work with this piece. Um, um, I just want to say that I'm really liking this um, uh, power system upgrade that I put on here. Um, like I was saying earlier, I have been running the uh, Bill X185 system on here since day one. This is my very first system upgrade on this truck. And um, I'm liking it so far. This is a Hexfly 160 amp ESC, which is also a 8S rated ESC. Uh, paired it with the um, 4082 1720 kV rocket motor. With a 20 or 22 tooth pinion, this thing is really, really fast, guys. I mean, it has tons of power, nice and smooth, while keeping the motor and the ESC nice and cool. So I'm really liking this system so far, so we'll keep that in there. Uh, Savok Servo, as you can see. And uh, that's about it. I mean, see you, sir. The Italian did pretty good today. I don't see anything broken except for the um, front differential being stripped. So yeah, um, not too bad. I also want to point out that I have linked my Italian to this RC6GS 6 channel radio. Um, I actually had this radio for quite some time. Um, just didn't get a chance to um, do a review on this. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Tactic radio. That's probably the reason why I you know, didn't even bother with using this radio. Uh, radio Link did send me the version 2 of this radio, so I'm going to do um, a side-by-side -side comparison between the two pretty soon, so uh, keep on the lookout for that. And uh, we'll go a little bit deeper on this uh, this radio, so there you have it guys. Um, Talion did pretty good today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe if you haven't. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.